was a time when elected leaders in St. Joe County felt the more solar farms, the better. It's now time to see if times have changed. Our Mark Peterson is live in studio with the latest. Mark. You know, some neighboring counties have actually considered imposing moratoriums on industrial sized solar projects. It doesn't look like St. Joe County is going to be asked to go that far, although some say they will seek to stop what they call uncontrolled solar growth here. Right now, if a parcel of land in St. Joseph County is good enough to farm, it is automatically good enough for a solar farm development. The biggest issue we want to address is right now solar can come into agricultural land and go up and there's no kind of public hearing. There's no kind of special zoning requirement. Just last week, it wasn't a public hearing, but the public certainly showed up to comment informally on a proposed 2,500 acre solar farm planned south of Potato Creek State Park. Yeah, it's public record, but you didn't have, have the stones to step up and have a meeting. That's what it boils down to. Or ask anybody or contact anybody. When you see that many people show up and they're angry about something, you need to listen to them. It's easy to, write, to go right from agriculture to solar for the people that want solar, but for people that live around it, you're putting up a, a, some kind of um, heavy duty machinery. You know, it, it is industrial, so I think we need to call it what it is. It isn't a farm. Councilwoman Drake says she is aware of about four more solar farm projects currently eyeing St. Joseph County as a possible location. And the proposed changes are also going to deal with decommissioning, uh, setback requirements. Plans do call for public hearings on the changes June 18th before the County Plan Commission, uh, July 9th before the full County Council. Okay, Mark Peterson with that brand new reporting tonight at 6 o'clock. We appreciate it. Thank you.